Folks, before we get started with today's video, consult your veterinarian before you start any kind of program like this. I am not a veterinarian. I'm a guy with some cows and I'm using natural ways to deworm my cows without having to pour chemicals on them. So come along, let's talk a little bit about deworming cows with slash piles, all right? Welcome back to another gorgeous day here on the Stony Ridge Farm. This video is gonna be a short little video and I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about my medication program for my cows, my natural medication program. So we're over here by a burn pile. This is a slash pile here on the Stony Ridge Farm. And what we have is charcoal. That's what we're producing right here, okay? So you can see, some got in my eye right there. <laughs> Um, we are producing this wonderful charcoal for our cows to consume. And you think to yourself, why would a cow consume charcoal? Well, fire is a part of nature. Fire is something that's been a part of nature since the dawn of time. And we didn't used to have to spread ivermectin on our animals back years and years ago. Only in the recent years have we decided that we need to medicate our animals versus trying natural ways to deworm and detoxify our animals. So my cows get out here, they get on pasture, they're all grass raised, pasture raised beef. Um, and the way that we worm our cows is by simply allowing them to forage in slash piles. So in each pasture, I have slash piles. The cows that are the most wormy or have the most parasite load, and it's normal for cows to have a little bit of a parasite load, but the cows that have the most will consume the most charcoal, and that charcoal is an irritant and helps to deworm the cow. So instead of pouring medication on my animals, we're allowing them to forage their way through brush piles like this. So I've been doing this for about two years now. I've had to medicate my cows one time. I did have an outbreak of, uh, of very wormy cows at, uh, at one point, and my cows were purchased off of a farm where they were very used to being wormed on a very consistent basis. Even the farmer told me, you know what the secret to raising good animals is? Worming them. And he wormed the snot out of his cows. Consequently, giving those cows that wormer slowed the deterioration of their manure and slowed the rebuilding of the pasture, okay? So that dewormer not only goes through the cow and out its butt and into your pasture, it also deworms your pasture. So you've got to think about that. Now you've got to use common sense and you should consult your veterinarian on this. Uh, if you're considering just using charcoal like this for a wormer for your cows. You're gonna have to assess your cows. You're gonna have to keep an eye on them. You need to keep an eye on if somebody's losing weight, if one of your cows looks like it may have an extra high parasite load, and you can test that manure and see if that cow needs to be wormed, okay? So in other words, what we're doing on the farm here is holistic management. We're trying to do it the natural way, but if our cows need medication, we'll absolutely give them that medication. So we'll make sure that we don't process our beef once the cow's been wormed, we give it a period of time before we process the beef or before we start calving or breeding. But we've got to think about this. And this is just one of the many ways that Mother Nature has shown us that we don't need chemicals in order to worm and get the parasite load down on our animals. We need to keep our animals moving, keep them out of the manure, try and keep that grass a little bit taller, okay? So within the first five to seven centimeters is where all those worms hang out. They hang out in that moist, wet spot, okay? So we wanna keep the cows moving, don't let them overgraze, and give them access to stuff like this. Charcoal, it helps to deworm your animals. Guys, thanks a lot for joining me here on the Stony Ridge Farm. Please consult your veterinarian on any medical advice as it comes to your cows, any veterinary advice. However, this is what I'm doing here on my farm and it seems to be working just fine. So give it a try, it might work for you. Thanks a lot guys, we'll see you in just a little bit. Gotta go feed the cows, I hear them over there mooing. <laughs> see y'all.